Welcome. I'm Martha Russell, and you're at the Media X Ball Seminar Series, and you are, I'm very happy to have you here. You are all welcome. I'm going to do something a little bit different tonight than we usually do. Uh, I'm going to ask each of you to introduce yourself, say like three words about your interests and um, your affiliation, if it's Stanford or if it's a, a company or, you know, uh, it may be multiple. Uh, but we have a, a group tonight that allows us to do that. And so I'm going to, because many of you have already met Joris Janssen, uh, when he gave a seminar last week, I'm going to start here, come around the back, up this way, and then we'll go to the back here and uh, come up and uh, toward the front. And um, Susumu, you will be the last person to introduce yourself. Um, but uh, let's start yours. My name is Joris Janssen. I'm a, uh, a visiting scholar here with MediaX working in the virtual human interaction lab with Jeremy Benson. And I'm from the Netherlands where I work for Philips Research and Eindhoven University of Technology. My research interests are about uh, effective computing and how we can improve empathy between people with technology. Cool. Oh, oh, sorry, Randy, we're coming back to you now. So I'm Randy Christ, and I work at the Connect Office. My name is Chow King. I'm working for Khan Company. Uh, we are the uh, corporate member of the uh, My name is Hai Song. I work in the same group. <laughs> and uh, so far, I have a little bit of experience for the sensor putting the car. So I'm very interested in this <laughs> topic. <laughs> My name is Chuck Jones, I'm a Stanford alumni, I just have an interest in what could be in the future in the automobile area. And so what was your first car, Chuck? My first car was a Chevy Camaro Blue license plate. <laughs> 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 what was your car? Uh, I drive with, I've got a Prius now, mm -hmm. and a Camry yeah. with 255,000 miles. Wow. My first car was a Comet, Aqua and Comet. <laughs> And I had a Pinto. <laughs> That's your name. My name's Paula Shales, and I'm associate I'm at Wickham College, and we're developing an energy program. Hi, I'm I'm Kishiro Tamara. I'm as a visiting researcher at Media X, and uh, at the first time of this seminar, I have talked about that um, method. I'm Jennifer Healy, I'm with the um, Intel Corporation, I'm with the Interaction Experience Research Group, and we're interested in future car experience. Yeah. Hey, introduce uh, yourself. And yeah, I'm Russell Fine, a venture capitalist. I like to invest in technologies related to uh, automotive technologies. Uh, like Chuck, my first car was uh, a Corvette. Excuse me, excuse me, was, uh, I have a Corvette one, sorry. It was a 67 uh, Camaro. Uh, and scholar uh, at Star, uh, I uh, use a topological uh, model and technology model used uh, for design uh, software. Uh, software. Uh, my name is Bryant, Bryant Walker Smith. I'm a fellow at Stanford Law School. I am actually looking at the legal aspects of uh, autonomous vehicles. Great. Welcome. I'm Davis Maston. I'm a visiting scholar to Media X. Um, uh, 66 289 Mustang with a stick, yellow, uh, KLH 525. <laughs> um, um, uh, and my interests are varied, but I'm, I'm particularly passionate about uh, science from the bottom up as a way to engage people around the world in a newfound relevancy of the world around them. Thank you. I'm uh, Keith Devlin, the executive director of HSTAR, which is the parent organization of VDUX. You can tell from the voice that I grew up in England, which means my first car would fit in the trunk of most of the world's cars, <laughs> and I'm a recovering mathematician. <laughs> We've discovered that there's a world outside mathematics to which you can apply mathematics. Yeah. <laughs> mathematics is perfect for putting me in a world outside. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Nico Van Prague. Uh, professionally, I, I, I'm the Group Strategy Director at Venables Dellen Partners, which is the advertising agency for Audi. And so, professionally, I'm kind of interested in um, getting insight into the future of the automobile, future of mobility, looking even bigger than that, and uh, how we can apply that to some of the exciting technologies that they're actually uh, developing right now. I'll tell the story around that. Personally, I have car sickness. I've had about 38 cars in my life, and my first car was a 74 BMW 2002, which I still have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kendall Beveridge. I also work at Venable Bell and Partners. I'm also in the brand strategy, consumer strategy discipline, and work with Audi, among other brands. My name is Henry Dubin. I'm an assistant account manager at Venable Bell and Partners, working on the Audi retail team. And I have a general interest in the auto industry as a whole, particularly from a, from a marketing and advertising perspective. Really looking forward to it. Great. Thank you. Would you introduce yourself? Sure. Um, I'm a first year PhD student in the communication department, and I'm an advisee of TIFNAS, a lot of research on cars. Um, I myself am interested in interfaces on cars, and I'll actually do some research for Nissan very soon. Fabulous. Yes. Um, I'm Jessica Lee, I'm a from people's the introductions of themselves. Uh, the range uh, the, of very interesting uh, disciplines that we draws from as well as uh, organizations. And our focus is at the intersection of people and technology. How people communicate through and with technology. Um, how understanding people can help us to make better technology. How technology improves lives. Entertainment, education, business, um, always at the intersection, technology and people together. And through the fall seminar series, you, we've had a taste of a lot of these different intersections. They really are um, quite wonderful. Uh, Media X is the uh, portal for businesses to become involved with Stanford researchers who are studying this intersection. H-Star Institute is the portal for uh, academic and government organizations to be involved. Above all, I want you to remember that we are interested in the, the way that our partners and members uh, see the problems of the world, and they really are the inspiration for the studies that we do at Stanford. On the table outside, and I encourage you to pick up your copy, there is a one sheet page that describes uh, a couple of initiatives. Oh, this, this, this describes one initiative, the Publish on Demand initiative that we have underway. And this is a research theme that uh, is looking at um, how intellectual property will perform in the future and how by having a registry, a transaction, and an exchange system, we can expedite, uh, take a lot of the costs out, and encourage uh, much wider use of intellectual property. Uh, we have several quarters now of having had a marvelously smart printer to know if what it's printing is copyrighted and if it is to be able to automatically understand the royalty fee that's necessary to make that charge. So it's one of the research initiatives that um, we are very pleased with. It actually had its beginning in 2005. So the way that discovery and discovery collaborations that are catalyzed by Media X um, have results. Those results kind of become a cascade of other results, and uh, they do make their way into uh, people's lives and um, uh, into people's businesses. So I encourage you to pick up um, some information about it. But tonight, what a pleasure to introduce to you Susan Fujita, uh, who is a visiting researcher with Chris Gerdes. He is so privileged because this is his first of two years that he's going to be here. And uh, in this period, he's 
uh, participating with some of the research that's going on at Stanford, pursuing some of his own ideas. <coughs> um, he brings to this a very interesting background uh, in the mobility services laboratory at Nippon and um, being an award winner uh, of the Asahara Science Award that the Society for Automobile Engineers in Japan have made. Um, his distinguished uh, recognition there was for the adaptive driver control strategy for group vehicles using the fish school method. It's interesting to see how concepts from one sphere can be applied to the other. And he's going to talk uh, about we all mentioned our first card. What about our future cards? Future cards and the dreams of the future. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for introducing me uh, and attending my presentation. So my name is Tsutsumu Kusa. Uh, I have worked for Nissan for maybe almost uh, 11 years so in Japan. So I'm in charge of developing uh, autonomous systems. <coughs> so, uh, and also I'm in mechanical engineering department in Stanford University as a business firm. Today I'd like to talk about um, future thinking about dream cars. Especially I'll show you my activity and uh, what kind of engineer I want to be in the future and how to think about the region uh, we have to work on. So, so, <laughs> so 36 years that ago, like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was born in Japan uh, as a child of the car guy. So okay. can I please so my father? Mark is missing. So this is, uh, this is my father. So he has uh, a lot of uh, so he has experience a lot of riding the car and prefer DIY including so fixing the car. So at the time, so um, this is so I have a so curious story. So at the time, he made a sunroof uh, so on the roof so by himself. <laughs> so you know, I heard from my mother, so uh, he seems to be crazy, very crazy. Therefore, so I was absolutely affected by him. So this is, uh, so I am covered too. <laughs> So this is a picture about the trip of sea. So uh, the car enabled us to go to distant place. So like a uh, like a cigar. So uh, we couldn't reach by foot. So and also uh, I make sure we can get the pleasure of driving a car. Mm, so to speak. So to speak. So we can get not only convenience but also memories by car. So in my case, uh, I was making a lot of memory involving the car, so and driving and the driving car. So when I was a child. So, but uh, however, uh, that day. Suddenly, so that means so my father passed away uh, due to the traffic accident. So maybe 30 years ago. So that that accident occurred when I when I was six. So I didn't I didn't remember the detail regarding the accident. Uh, so and nobody knows the detail about the accident. So 30 years ago, um, most of safety systems uh, hadn't been developed yet. 
Firstly, um, if drive recorder um, were developed, so I could understand the fact and uh, reason about the accident. So secondly, if safety body, airbag, and uh, pre-class seatbelt um, were developed, uh, he, could, he could be guarded from the accident. After that, so <coughs> if ABS, PDC, and braking emergency were developed, he could avoid that collision. After that, <coughs> if medic system, so medic system means so when so somebody uh, met the accident, so um, a system tell the police or something like that, so about the accident. So, if maybe the system were developed, the accident mm, could be notified to the police or uh, something like that, so as soon as possible. So finally, if autonomous vehicle were developed, so everybody, so, um, as you know, in for, for the member, could drive safely and comfortably. So this slide shows you the amount of fatalities and injured people regarding the traffic accident in Japan. The um, fatalities were almost decreasing, <coughs> almost decreasing from so uh, 1970, almost decreasing. He passed away. Um, in 1981, this point. So at present, created in 2010 are uh, half of those in 1981. So therefore, um, he might have survived the accident. Maybe. So because so his injury injury is visited. What happened in 1990 to create that? around 1990 oh, yeah, good question. So, um, so I think, so, um, around 1980, so, um, oil shock, oil shock, so, Air or? yeah, no, um, lack, of, lack of oil, all over the world, oh. yeah, for cars. Um, so, after that, so, around 1990, from, 2000, so maybe uh, most of car uh, is equipped with air yeah. and maybe yeah. I think. So my wish is to provide not only convenient but also safe vehicle uh, from the motor company. So motor company, I don't think. Uh, I don't care if it's so. Um, now, uh, I'm in Nissan, so I will make safer vehicle than the convenient car we always drive. So, anyway, in order to research uh, the safety technologies in Nissan, so what should I do for the Newer technology. So it is hard uh, to uh, it is hard to, to tell the supervisor so what I want to do in the team before what is issue and what is issue and what is issue. <laughs> you need to go. <laughs> so Nissan has to profit from the sales of cars. So we have to have an obvious strategy mm -hmm. regarding the research. So it is very, very important to define the research, the research domain and core content. So core content means so core technologies and something like that. So in order to outdistance the competitor, 
we have to decide the de uh, development area and for technology, including so diplomacy, it is hard to diplomacy, immediate and transferability, stability, GST, and durability. So, and also uh, alliance and outsourcing are quite, quite, very quite efficient to realize the advantage for the competitor. So this is a research domain. Uh, so this is a figure uh, regarding research domain. So Nissan has research domain. Nissan has business domain as shown in the figure and Nissan focuses on this domain for the news. They included safety and dynamic performance and uh, life from board and environment. So I'm in the safety region, so my task is especially so vehicle stability control for autonomous vehicle in Istanbul University. So, mm, regarding autonomous vehicle, so uh, there are couples, couple of competitors around Silicon Valley. So, Google is also, and uh, Volkswagen, and the BMW. So, what should Nissan do now? So, it seems to be very important for Nissan to define the differentiation, differentiation, uh, differentiation point. So, this is the basic strategy method for the development. So we think we should focus on somewhere. So that means so uh, point of cost or differentiation and the issue. So because uh, it seems to be hard to expand the business region uh, in the crisis all over the world now. And so extreme cost leadership strategy focus the uh, deflation because companies cannot profit enough to hire employees. So I think we have to have a deflation focus strategy from the competitors like this. If we develop differential differential function develop uh, differential function uh, depending on the differential technology for autonomous vehicle, the computer can never imitate our solution. Maybe I think. <coughs> so must it be So what should I do for automatic vehicle? So by myself. So I used to research by using a uh, special specialty long time ago. So so to speak. So I was so I was I type engineer. So do um, so you know I type engineer? Being very deep in one specialty. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So almost two years ago, uh, I was in charge of developing Apollo robot for, for CX 2009. Apollo means so episode one, uh, episode zero robot car, um, and it is a prototype of autonomous vehicle, con uh, autonomous vehicle concept by using the algorithm of fish theory. Group of fish. So and also CTEC is functional electric show in Japan. So like a so CD show in that 
So I developed Apple by using wireless communication technology. That was my specialty at that time. However, various technologies such as control logic and robot system uh, technology were needed to make integrate Apple. Therefore, I had to get this, so some kind of technology to make Apple. So to speak, maybe maybe I think I became so T type engineer. So T type engineer means so for example I have uh, maybe uh, communication device technology and uh, some kind of uh, I have uh, some kind of technology um, regarding so integrating so some some technology so that means so there are system integration technology and control technology, something like that. So, um, okay, so but now, so, uh, so in case of Pi, so my mouse is missing. So, but now means the specialty, and the uh, horizontal means. Uh, so, with both knowledge. So, finally, I could make Apple, so which is a system involving various technology. So, depending on core essential technology and uh, core essential technology, such as so communication technology and uh, autonomous control technology. So, something like that on time. So, Today, I show you two kind of movies. Now, so regarding <coughs> the world.
にはショート回避機能を行い、そして投資機の場合には接近という動きをいたします。今回のデモンストレーションでは、えー、とシルバーのロボットをリーダーとして、そのリーダーが走っていく後を、例えばブルー、えー、チョコレート色、グリーン、そしてオレンジ色、それぞれのロボットが自律的に自分が何をすべきかということを考えながら、動いてですねそして分走行するそういったデモンストレーションを行っていますですので毎回毎回違った動きが見れて非常に面白いデモンストレーションになっておりますフィッシュ is mainly their lateral lines and eyes as sensors to detect what's happening around them to play the role of the lateral line sense of fish Epiro uses a laser range finder which measures the distance to obstacles using laser beam reflections the role of the visual sense is played by ultra wideband technology Which measures the position of obstacles by emitting pulse signals and timing how long they take to be reflected. Dig in for news. So, more information, so you can see uh, the movie so via YouTube. So, um, please, please search. So now uh, I'm trying to develop the so envelope control, so like a so safety system. So for Um, moving on the road um, so without the deviation on the road, so without avoiding collision in, in case of, of complicated things, including so that thing, uh, the pedestrian and the oncoming car and the parking car and something like that. So, in order to this, uh, in order to do this research, uh, I think. I should get uh, not only various knowledge widely, but also another specialty, so except for the communication, communication technology for autonomous vehicles. So, so by getting another specialty by Stanford University, So with promotion research, uh, I have become, so I hope <coughs> to become the high tech engineer in the future. So maybe I think there are many, many, many so this kind of so high tech engineer around Silicon Valley. So maybe um, so this kind of engineer graduate in the Stanford University or UC Berkeley and something like that. So, therefore, the new idea and the uh, cutting edge technologies and uh, new products uh, are generating from this area now. So, it seems to be very important for us to collaborate, cooperate with the fighter engineer uh, to in order to outdistance the competition. Like this. So this is too yeah, too yeah. good. <laughs>
can learn. The smartphone will prompt you when your car has hit the tire. Now your car has left the garage, which has the solar panel on the roof. You have arrived at the solar EV station. There are five quick charging units. The energy is 100% generated by the solar panel. It has the battery to store the energy as well. This means that the car charged here is running on absolutely zero emission. Now let's travel another decade to the world of 2020. The video will be featuring the building this time. You can see a lot of EVs at this parking lot on the basement. Some people have EV function, has arrived not only here EV well. function, but also autonomous The cars will be parked on the vacant places. This will be done automatically, Autom automated parking system. This shows that the car is providing the energy to the building. Today, suppose, suppose outside is raining and the building is needing the energy because the solar panel cannot generate. The cars are discharging wirelessly, non-contact discharging and charging. Now the car is leaving the parking lot to travel another decade to the year 2030. Uh, by the way, the blue parking space and pillar is showing that the car is charging. Yellow means discharging. In the world of 2030, we are expecting that the roads to change. The blue lane is non-contact charging lane, which enables the car to be charged wirelessly while in motion. We are heading from Tokyo to Yokohama on the Bayside motorway. On the bay, you can see the mega wind farm generating electricity by wind turbine. Besides the mega wind farm, there are mega solar panels. When you approach to the area where the people are actually living, the device called solar forest is installed. Each solar tree is 12 meters tall and translucent. Solar forest, consisting 1,000 solar trees, has a capacity to provide energy for 7,000 houses. We hope you will enjoy the experience of the future world up to the year 2030 at SeaTech. Thank you. So this is a just image. Yeah. All okay. right. Okay. Sir, I'll let you call. Yeah. 
Uh, thank you very much. Can, can you elaborate a little bit on mobility vendor except for car and internet service provider? I mean, I, I, I understand that it could be Yahoo, but my sense is you have other thoughts. So, uh, so in case of Japan, so there, uh, so uh, the amount of vehicle is decreasing, decreasing. Uh, so maybe almost. So, uh, 10 years, so from 2000 to uh, 2010. So, because, so, in Japan, there are a lot of uh, <coughs> urban cities, like uh, Tokyo and Kanagara and Nagoya and something like that. So, um, young man, y younger people so try to live in the urban city. So, um, yeah, younger, uh, so always use the uh, some kind of official transportation system, so train and the bus and something like that. So, so therefore, uh, the amount of car is de decreasing now. So maybe I think um, my company. Based on the crisis, because um, we can, so we can never for the people for the younger people. So maybe I think so. I should think about uh, the other, the other industry, so um, such as. Uh, Mobility vendor, so mobility vendor means so except for car, so that means bicycle and uh, motorcycle, and uh, so internet service vendor means so I don't know um, this is equipped with uh, communication device, um, so to communicate from people to some some kind of so internet service vendor. So um, we have a chance to uh, open the so internet service center so by uh, uh, from the peak. So an um, electric electricity vendor means so like a um, so, so in Japan so um, Tesco and uh, something like that so power plant company. So that means so we has the Lot of electricity so into the battery, between the battery. So we um, we can use uh, electricity electricity so about the uh, two days two days two days life. So maybe we have a chance to uh, so we we have a chance to. Uh, I thought of that. So, what the. Can you repeat the question um, just so everybody can hear? The question was. I was just asking what, what his perspective was on batteries and the future of batteries since that's one of the major hurdles. So, mm -hmm. so first of all, so I'm not mm, so responsible uh, for the battery system. So, but the answer is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I have some kind of information for the battery system. Mm -hmm. So, I I think so. Uh, the but the um, battery for the so maintain the. Um, Amount of battery, so for maybe almost uh, at most eight years. So eight years plus, so um, maybe uh, eight, eighty percent of battery remains. So um, I so, uh, 
give us a lot of flexibility for building buildings anywhere and then having them supplied with energy by the system. Uh, might be a combination. Some of the um, future scenarios that are built by utility companies, for example, um, see the charge that comes from the car as offsetting what the utility companies are providing or maybe contributing to that. Thank you. 
system uh, and it is uh, basically making a perfect market for cars. Would that mean that Nissan would sell less cars? Would still make more money. Well, because if, if people own cars, there's a built-in inefficiency oh, so okay. there are more cars. Uh -huh. And Nissan would sell more cars. But uh, if you have a network system, yeah. you need fewer cars. It's not about cars, it's about money. Okay. So maybe uh, so 20 years ago and uh, 30 years ago, so car company typically made a uh, made, uh, physical car. But uh, so um, right side, right side, and uh, industry, so industry uh, industry is changing. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I don't know the I uh, I, I have no idea about the so future future scenario about the Nissan. When you return to Japan, don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think the suggestion is that the car company needs to become more than just a maker of horses. That's the statement. Could the car company become an electricity company mm -hmm. and these other things? Because in the future, the ability will be more than just one person, one car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people, so lifestyle is changing, and also, uh, as you know, there are very big industries in Japan, so as you know, traditionally, we need in Japan. So um, we have to think about the future scenario about electricity. So I don't know. Uh, so the concept video uh, shows the solar power thing and the something like that. Imagine that now I am, gosh, a, a bridge designer or a, a bridge that will last for 200 years, a designer of a building that will last or a city planner will put together a zoning map that will guide development for 30 years. Is there any advice you would give me? Are there any small or big changes that I should make? Um, so, I have no idea about that. So, maybe I should, um, so I should, um, so I should involve people that can kind of industry, so building companies and uh, so almost uh, so also uh, so a kind of construction company. So um, so maybe you will join uh, the network of Thai people, Thai experts. That might be your advice. You are talking about a lot of future, mm -hmm. future, <laughs> uh, and uh, obviously maybe I cannot wait for it to enjoy it so long. But I'm talking about the, the near future and in a couple of, couple of years. Right now, a lot of technology related to car safety mm -hmm. from your company point of view. What kind of technology you can implement right now so that us enjoy?
we can、um, so、grasp the figure the top of the people. Yeah, we, can, we can find the vehicle top of the vehicle. So, this is an、uh, example so for the、uh, safety system. So, maybe I think、um, we have a chance to collaborate with each other、so、regarding the、uh, so、camera device and the、uh, um, micro, microwave device and、uh, something like that. So,、um, So,、um, actually,、um, we, we are in the research center in Japan, so、um, we have a chance to cover it together. So,、um, please tell me your idea <laughs> and、uh, so、some kind of technology、so、to implement the people. Uh, I have a question about the Hiporo. Hiporo, yeah. Very interesting. Thank you. <laughs> yes.、Um, it looks very realistic. Almost seems like maybe tomorrow we'll see it on the road. The question I have is、um, Have you done any analytics to understand what's the minimum penetration of those types of vehicles that you need on the roads before you start seeing the societal benefits that we're looking for?、Um, so, so, sorry. Uh, uh, so, So, yeah, <laughs> so、um, you mentioned those types of vehicles reduce traffic,、uh -huh. okay. improve safety,、yeah. maybe improve driving、mm -hmm. convenience.、Mm -hmm. um, those are good things,、yeah. right? Lower、mm -hmm. emissions, everything else.、Yeah. Um, what percentage of the vehicles on the road must be that kind of vehicle before、uh -huh. you see that? Okay, so.、Mm -hmm. So. Sorry, so.、Uh, I, I forgot、uh, the information regarding the so, ratio of reducing the, so,、uh, some kind of information so, regarding the traffic jam and the CO2 and the, something like that. But,、uh, mm, so, maybe we have, we have、uh, some kind of information regarding so, reducing the、mm, traffic jam. So, maybe、um, we Uh, we, care, uh, we, can, uh, we can tell uh, some kind of information to you. Like using an app. If everybody has a smartphone and there's an app, there can be an app for that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>、right. yep. But I think what he was asking is like, let's say 50% of the vehicles on the road had your system and 50%、uh -huh. did not, would it still work?、Uh, yeah, so、uh, I'm sure.、Uh, The algorithm、uh, works correctly, so even in the case of 50%, so、mm, of the whole of the people. people so、um, I try to make a simulation regarding、uh, the effectiveness about the、uh, traffic jam problem. So, um, so um, I get、uh, some kind of information regarding.、Uh, Yeah. So, um, so, first one,、um, it is easy case to make a simulation.、Uh, it's a,、um, uh, all of the、uh, vehicle、uh, is equipped with、um, my autonomous vehicle algorithm. So, second one is、um, so,、um, one. Of the vehicle is equipped with my algorithm, and the other vehicle is equipped with so,、uh, a, a little bit different algorithm. So,、uh, I make sure、uh, I confirm the effectiveness、uh, about the traffic jam problem. Are you thinking that all the other ones are using the ultra wideband radio? Is that the same radio? Ah,、uh, the vehicle then. Okay. Would all the other ones have to be using the ultra wideband radio emissions, though? Even、yeah. if they're using a different algorithm, you'd have to have the same sensor hardware on all the vehicles for this to work. Ah, yeah.、Right? Mm, mm, yeah. Uh, so, uh, in, the, go in case of、uh, concept <laughs> video, so,、uh, okay. all of the people is equipped with、mm, so, so laser sensor and、uh, wire sensor. So, Um, 
sure. So, so uh, we can uh, we can realize the algorithm in, in the real view because so wires. So the length of mm, receiving the wire signal mm, is mm, very mm, very close mm, to my people. So maybe. Um, the interference of the wired communication um, is, uh, don't occur in the real thing. One of the problems that we've thought about for this autonomous thing is there has to be standardization of the radios and there has to be almost all cars ah. regulated to have the same radio or these kind of things don't work. Yeah. I guess Nissan's only differentiation would be an improved algorithm using the same government regulated radio. Yeah, this is a big problem. Yeah, so mm, this is a concept video uh, to get uh, so, so whether the algorithm realize uh, in autonomous people. So maybe we transfer the radio technology to the other yeah, technology, like a camera device, passive technology, or mm, passive technology using a camera device or something like that. Thank you very much for a very